Be prepared for highly offensive language throughout, adult and sexual themes, and possible flashing images. So... Empty Big Brother and the sixth eviction of the series. It's exciting tonight. So earlier on, your vote say in on the action later on by making a call to the house myself. <laughs> but this is no prank, because I am going to be calling to evict. First though, housemates, the public have chosen to save Tiffany. Jeremy and Stephanie, you are still at risk. And wait for the call that will reveal your fate. All other housemates must remain inside by the sliding doors. No other housemates. Who what corridor? Scotty. I love you. She must be here, Zay. Call Scotty. Call Scotty. Scotty T. Jez. It's all last three musketeers. Where are we going over here? That way, Gordon, my nonna. I think. Is it? Yes, you have shit! Jez, let's have one last Which one, one do you want? Which one do you want? I'll go whatever what you want. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Hey, you may go oh, to the kitchen and look through the siding doors. Right, I'll go. In the phone! No boys in the room, Jez! This is so... Mishua! <laughs> if the phone rings, answer it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jeremy and Stephanie have entered the phone box in. OK, someone hand me the blower. Thank you very much. Why is everyone so worried? They just get two people strong. freaking like Stand each strong. other. Right, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. <laughs> and. <laughs> come, on. Come, on. come on, let's go. Let's get my shit together. Come on. Come on. You'll be all right. I promise Jeremy, you. Jeremy, you have. Say, so guys, lock it. Oh, I'll miss you. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Love you. It's all right, it's all right. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. No. no. Come on, you'll be right. Just stay strong. Scott, that... you look after. Oh. 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 Jez. Jez, I love you. Jez, I love you. I love you. See you later. Jez. Jez, I love you. See you later. Enjoy it, enjoy it. Stay strong, enjoy it. Yeah, it's a week. I wish. Come on, open this. Oh. TV's most tattooed torso, but has he found his true love? We're going to be talking strops, spats, and getting serious with Steph right after the break. It's time to meet our sixth evictee. It's Jeremy! <laughs> oh, no. It feel to be out. You keep it's, looking around, going. I know, it's this bit, is wild. It's weird. This is crazy. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm wild. in a phone box two minutes ago, and now yeah. I'm sitting here with you. It's just, uh, I think you lose track of the outside world, don't you? So it's a bit like kind of yeah. coming out of a three-day party. Kind oh, of my thing, word, you, know you know really mean? seem to have lost track of the outside a world. A little bit, yeah, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> a little I'll bit. I probably know it's now bit, looking back. Just... A little bit. Um, what did you think to your response tonight? Uh, it was mixed. Like it was, it was kind of what I expected. What I, what I kind of dived into in the house. I knew I was kind of sacrificing maybe a part of my time by. I just followed my heart, do you know what I mean? And I just went with it, so... I, I, you got a more positive reaction. I think when you compare it to what Steph's getting, which is yeah, well, pretty negative, yeah. you have gotten off pretty lightly. Yeah. 
Yeah, she doesn't deserve that, like, you know what I mean? I, know, I don't know um, what it looks like from the outside, but... Um, so why do you think you're sat here and not one of the other two? Um, I don't know, like, I think people can always relate to what that girl's going through now. I think it's a part of life, what she had to do, and um, I just think maybe I got seen as a big bad wolf, maybe, and I, I contributed with it. Obviously, it takes two to tango, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm sitting here, but I just enjoyed every minute that I was in there, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, I've no regrets. So. We'll get more into Steph. As you did throughout your time <laughs> in the house. Uh, in a little while. It's bad, uh, that, like, <laughs> Emma, chill out. Like, you know what I mean? Excuse the guy. If you're going to give us a relationship, yeah, I'm yeah. going to start digging. All right. Um, uh, but before we get on to Steph, the Love reason you. that you're here is because of nominations. So it was only the pure housemates that got to nominate this week. Um, who do you think nominated you? There was only um, four. Daniela. Um, I think Gemma nominated me. I think... Who else have we got there? It's pretty tough, then. Um, there was I, I, well, Scotty and John Carthy, got to I know nominate. Scott didn't nominate me. Um, and I don't know, I think the other four, obviously. And maybe Tiffany? I don't know. It was a bit of a shock, like, but... Tiffany didn't nominate because she was... Uh, oh, she was a was toxic the, housemate, yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure, Look, really. you're forgetting. You've only just Yeah, I know. Like, like, it's a blur. Would like, you like to take a look at who yeah, did? Please, Here we yeah. go. My first nomination is Jeremy. 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 His relationship with Stephanie provides the house with much drama, much tension. The situation is a bit uncontrollable for everybody. I think it's getting everybody down. He's not taking anyone's advice and it can be disruptive to the house. So, you said you just hoped Scotty didn't and he didn't. I so know, you must yeah. be quite relieved about that. Yeah, but what do you think about their reasons? Um, I don't totally understand the reasons. I had everyone pull me up on what was happening. But like I said, you know what I mean? You, you go with what you feel at the time. Mm. and. You know, I, I could have easily sat back and, I don't know, I was just gravitated towards her. I kept... You certainly did. I don't know what it looks like. I'm sorry if... Well, like, in a minute, you'll see exactly what it looked like. Um, uh, do you think, though, had it been normal nominations and the whole house no, had I think nominated, I still do you been think up. you'd still... Yeah, 100%. You'd like, still you know been I, mean? I, was, I was always going to be in it for... But that's, that's me, do you know what I mean? You like me or you hate me and it's, mm. it's the way I live my life. I just, I, I act on what I feel and, you know, some people don't like that. I'm a bit lazy, maybe, as well, so I don't know. Like. Um... Well, most of your nominations was because of your relationship with yeah, Stephanie. I know, so yeah. let's take a look at the two of you together. I love Jeremy to bits. I'd be lying if I said I didn't like her. It was a bit not like you like. No, we're just having a laugh. It is more than friends. It's obvious. Thanks for ruining my relationship, big brother. What you're doing is so wrong. You've got a boyfriend. It's like you want your cake and you want to eat it. Maybe I've Substituted Jez for Sam. No, You'll be with him, so yeah, yeah Marion. I'm gonna. She will go back to her boyfriend and she's she will be dropped like a sack of. She's still not know why she cannot just say to me how she really feels. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yes, that, yeah, yeah. I'm nothing to you yeah. anyway. You're allowed to play me like a fool when you have a boyfriend. I'm not allowed to have a game with the lads, is it? Okay. Please. <laughs> I swear down, I love that girl. Steph, you'll never work again off the back of this show. I just want to go home. I think she's had enough and I'll walk out with her, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that looks, yeah, it's obviously... What, you, you were just about to say, that looks... I thought that was, like, uh, one of Hugh Hefner's videos or something. <laughs> was, uh... No, it, it, look, it is what it is. I can't really elaborate on that. It's, that's, what, that's what happens. That's, that's what we felt for each other and, you know, it's, it's, um, I obviously... I like to think that I'm a respectful lad, but you know, and, and I understand what our fella must be going through on that. But so, know, but... so what? What is your side of the story? Because obviously, <coughs> we we, we kind of know all the story, but but what was happening within you, and how did you feel? Because we did hear you say from the beginning, that's not what I do. I don't go for girls who have boyfriends. I don't but get involved yeah. with things like that. I wouldn't yeah. break up a relationship. No. But you just, you, and you said, I want to pull away. I'm not going to get involved in this. But you kept going back. Yeah. No, I tried to, but I just I kept going back to her. Yeah, I don't know if it's, the, like I said, if I was on the outside, I'd be able to go somewhere, do you know what I mean? But when there's someone that you, you sit there with and mm. you have feelings for, do you know what I mean? There's nothing that you can do about it. And yeah. it just kept getting stronger, like a snowball effect. But um, uh, what about when you were getting all the advice from everybody? Mm. Like, Scotty T, your best mate in there. I mean, you could kind of... This is me watching, and I hope other people will agree, because, you know, uh, I'm a viewer as well. Um, <laughs> but he seemed to get quite frustrated <sighs> on your behalf, on behalf of the situation, that everybody was telling you, yeah. it's not that long. There are other people in here in relationships I know, that yeah. are 
are containing themselves, why not know. just wait because she has a boyfriend and deal with it after the show? Yeah. Well, like, that's what I was doing at the, at the time, but then I think she said that there was other things going on. I know it was the right thing to do, it was just wait, but mm. look, I can't explain what, I'm, what I feel inside, or I can't act, or I can't act differently than what I've done, you know? It's, it's too late now, but that's what I felt, and I went with it, you know? Mm. Um, that's just, that's do, just me, like. You know I mentioned the crowd reaction, and you got quite a positive one yeah. in, compar in comparison yeah, yeah. to what Stephanie's getting, and I personally think that if it had been the other way round and it had been a single woman going for an attached man, she would have got as much stick as he would have. 100%. You've gotten off very lightly, really, when you think well, about it. Well, I hold it. my hand up, and I always said, like, that was, it was both of us, do you mm. know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not just trying to skive away, like, it's, it's just a really tough situation. I know, it's, it's terrible, but... How do you think you would feel if you were in Sam's position? Gutted, absolutely gutted. He isn't here tonight. We haven't been able to make contact with him. I would imagine you're quite relieved. No, I'd, like I said, like I was like, go out and whatever. It's like after, you know, after this whole thing, go and chat to him and go and do your own thing. Take a breathing space, like take your time. And mm. I don't know what's going to happen. Look, this is, it's just the way it was. And yeah. if I'm portrayed. Did I, you ever think, because she, she got a lot of grief in the house mm. because of it, again, more than you did. And she was yeah. hearing a lot of boos more than you did. Did you ever think kind of for her sake and to, to protect her, Maybe the best thing I should do is back off. I know you, you say you can't help your feelings, and it's human nature. People mm. fall in love with people when they're not expecting to, and that happens. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, tried to, I tried to pull away a few times. I think we both did, but like we said, we just said, look, just let's go with it, because we just keep finding each other. I know it's obviously in a, yeah. what was it, like 200 square foot garden and that, like, of course you're going to keep finding it. <laughs> That's stupid, but... Um, <laughs> I can't, I just, what happened happened and I can't really elaborate, you know, everything that I said to her I meant. Mm. I do understand the boyfriend situation, if it was done to me, if it was done to any other lad, I normally am, I hold myself, like I like to think I have a bit of integrity, but obviously I don't. Uh, we saw you give her a necklace before you left the house. Yeah, no, just good luck, like it was my mum and brother's picture, like just to, yeah, there it is, there, like, and just to... So, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> You're not getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think is going to happen between the two of you? I don't know. Like I said, like everyone's like, it's a bubble. It's a, it's a different environment out here, which of course it is, you know. I always thought logical about the situation. Um, we'll see what happens, you know. She mm. needs breathing space. I need my time as well. And then um, if it's meant to be, I suppose. Because like. it did look like it's gone from, let's just, we're mates, we're mates, uh, to a bit more than mates. And then yeah. she's think, still got yeah. a boyfriend. Then she kind of had her epiphany when Gillian was there and said, I want to be single. Mm. And then that night she was back in bed with you. And then all of a sudden it was like suddenly you were just acting like a normal couple in the house. Yeah, it was weird. So it's that been night. very flip floppy for her and her emotions. Are you worried that now that you're away, she might have time to think and then she might come out and go, I balls this up now, I want to be She with could Sam. possibly do, you know. Like Does if, that worry you? No, not at all, because like being apart, you know, like it, it gives it both of us a time to think. And I'm not I'm not saying that, you know, when she comes out, we're gonna we're gonna start being together, and like that, we don't need time off. Like, and I'm saying to her, I was like, even if you do, don't think it's right with Sam. You still need time to be single and reflect on what you want. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So. But you've already asked her to go on holiday. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. We saw that too, didn't we? Didn't oh, we? That's it. Yeah, but you know, like, cause she, she's very low on self-esteem. She hasn't been like so. She's told me, you know, she hasn't been like shown a good side of life, and you know, I'd like to think that I'm a, I can't really say good lad now, but you know, I, I treat a woman with respect, like. And I wanted... um, do you have any regrets? No, like, it was kind of, I remember the yes-no game and the, it was a task, like, and I was like, do I, re you do regret getting with, probably developing feelings like that with someone that has a boyfriend, but now I don't, like, and we'll see what happens after, like, but it was just, it's a, it's a really hard situation, and I looked at, I watched Big Brother since I was a kid, man, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot who, harder than... Who would you like to see win? Obviously Steph or Scott, you like, I think Steph needs Do you think she will? It. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here are your best bits. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. It's Jeremy McConnell. Everybody says we look alike. Oh, really? Lovely accent. Thanks. Lovely tattoos. <laughs> I think the women are gonna love him. You look gorgeous. Thanks.
very sexually attracted to him. Do you find me? Of course. Being Jeremy, he's like my big brother. Do you feel like it's more than just friends? You know, it is more than friends. It was weird, though, aren't you? Like, no, we're just having a laugh. I think you're cuddling every, every f ten minutes. Uh, it's like you want your cake and you want to eat it. I'm looking to you anyway. You're allowed to play me like a fill when you have a boyfriend. What you're doing is wrong. Yeah. Jess! What? I want to say goodbye to you before I go. I'm just, it's too much, man. It's going around and my head is uh, melted. Jeremy. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jess a bit, so he's got a cuddle for me. He's cheeky. You're f awesome. Gazing, mate. He is like my brother, and I love the kid a bit. Jeremy is crazy sexy cool. How's your baseball back today? It's actually frustrating, isn't it? My time in the Big Brother house has been amazing. I've met so many different walks of life, you know, so many characters with different stories. And all in all, it's been it's been brilliant. Listen, best of luck with yeah, the future and everything that happens. Yeah, Go to your friends and family. Oh. Oh.